good morning students in the previous module we had learned about the significance of different colors in our topographical map and in this module we'll learn about the occupation different types of occupation that we can understand by interpreting the topographical map so if we have to find out the agricultural area in a topographical map then we will look for yellow patch or yellow wash that means the yellow portion in a topographical sheet the yellow portion here in this map indicates cultivable land or the land which is fit for agriculture so definitely the people living in this area are involved in agriculture if we have to know whether the people are involved in forestry then we need to look for green patch on the topo sheet in that indicate forest area and is suitable for lumbering that is extracting wood from the trees and it provides scope for furniture making carpentry etc so in our topographical map we need to look for the green area the green portion in our topographical map and we can see mentioned dense mixed jungle or fairly dense jungle so the green region indicate the forest area there are large number of trees and these trees provide scope for forestry and related activities animal rearing is practiced mostly in open scrubs because these open scrubs have grasses and are suitable for cattle rearing so here's the open scrub in the topographical map these areas have grasses they don't have trees because their rainfall is very less so very ideal for animal rearing and sheep rearing mining is done in areas where minerals are available so mines are shown by using black colored circles near mining sites mining and querying is shown in the map as you can see here limestone query and you can even see brick nail and see the sign there are double circles so for baking limestone there are ovens and even the bricks are baked in big ovens and uh, uh, therefore they are shown with double circles and it is mentioned in the map if it is a brick nail it is mentioned and if it is a limestone nail it is also mentioned lime nail here even limestone querying is done so it is mentioned here fishing is also having a scope in areas which is near the source of any river any water it can be a river or it can be a lake people residing near the river they have a lot of scope of fishing stone querying or stone cutting is practiced in areas where sheet rock stony waste rock outcrop are mentioned so students these are areas these are barren land where stones are found on the surface they are arranged in different ways in case of a sheet rock it is horizontally arranged whereas in case of rock outcrop the rocks are or the parts of weathered rocks are popping out on the surface so here we can see stony waste in a topographical map so barren area and uh, it is covered with stones trade is encouraged in areas and you will find it written annual fair in the topo sheet then it is understood that trade is practiced here it is usually mentioned near the settlement where the fair is held so the settlement which is related or it is concerned with the trade business there the word annual fair is mentioned such settlements are evolved engaged in trading activities even settlements near the main road or river ports are involved in trade activities we can see here annual fair is held every year in march in the settlement called pamera so this settlement is involved with trade and commerce 
even tourism is uh, an occupation practice where there is presence of hotels and inns in the topo sheet and if we find parks golf ground etc then it indicates the occupation to be recreation so these are the different occupations that we can interpret from the topographical sheet thank you